Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna do my updated makeup routine, foundation routine. So I got the Pico Shore laser. So it's a face laser. I'll get more into that in a little while. And I got the first one done and it's really lightened all of my melasma and hyperpigmentation, my dark spots. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I've done a bunch of videos on that full coverage routine, et cetera. So the first session has really helped lighten any pigmentation, any scarring, anything like that. Cause I wanna protect my skin and to keep the results looking good, I've been really liking. This is the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydration Fluid and it is SPF of 50. So it says it's a water light fluid, minimizes the appearance of pores and helps prevent UV damage and signs of aging, which I would 100% agree with. I got a little sample of all the Paula's Choice sunscreens and skincare last summer, and I really, really like them, and I've been testing them all out, and I think this one is one of my absolute favorites. And I like that you can just try them out in a little trial, so you don't have to commit to buying a full bottle if you don't like it. I actually already put sunscreen on my chest area, so. What I like about this is it doesn't feel like a sunscreen. It is super, lightweight so you don't have like that feeling of the chemical sunscreen on you it just feels like a very lightweight layer so this is a product that is in my project pan for the year this is the elf halo glow liquid filter and mine is in the shade two fair light which is a little bit a little dark for me right now because i'm super fair this is like the fairest i am all year but I'm gonna insert some pictures of like before and afters with the laser so you can see just how powerful it is. So what it does is the laser breaks up everything deep in the layers of your skin and then like day by day slowly brings it up to the surface. And then like day like four or five, I started noticing that the hyperpigmentation would just kind of flake off. And I do still need another treatment. So I'm excited to see what those results bring. And of course this summer I'm gonna be very careful to protect my skin. So I've been mixing these two together. I love this Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint. And then just because it's a little too dark for me right now, this is 120 and in the summer I'm up to like 320. But I mix in, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in 405. And I just do a little bit. Now that I'm not having to cover as much, I just like to do a little bit. So this is actually more than I typically do. You can always add more, which is great. And then I just do a tiny bit of the lighter shade. Just dab it on and blend that in. It's nice not to have to put on heaps of foundation. And you can just start with a little bit and then add. So with the laser, if you're curious, this is something that I've been thinking about doing for probably 10 years. I feel like it was never the right time. And if you get hormonal melasma, like if you've gotten it through pregnancy or just with like changes of hormones, even with like birth control, it happens to some people. This laser works so well. You have like acne scarring, works really well for that too. It does hurt. <laughs> so I wasn't sure what it was gonna feel like. And once you're like there, it's not like, I'm not the type of person, like I'm gonna suck it up and be in pain and you know, kind of hold my breath and be like, yeah, I'm okay. It's definitely not pleasant. So they do offer you um, numbing cream or at least where I did, they offered me numbing cream. So you can take it or leave it. I felt like the pain when she was doing it was like pretty bearable. It's a burning sensation. Like you're getting, it's a laser, so it's hot. And the smell kind of stinks. It smells like burnt skin. But it was more so when she finished doing the passes and my skin was on fire and it started giving me anxiety because I was like, oh my God, why is it all of a sudden feel like my skin is burning so much? Like, is this gonna get worse? It's hard to explain. It was like, like that. All of a sudden it started burning so bad and she's like, all right, we're done. And <laughs> Like, I can't leave like this. I feel like my face is on fire. I don't think I knew exactly what I was getting into. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the True Match Concealer. This is a newer one. It is, let's see, I think I'm in the shade 2N if you're curious. But I'm just gonna do a little bit under the eyes. 
I am using the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum that is in my project pan that I've been using a lot. But since my skin is pretty dewy already, I, I don't want it to be too greasy. So I'm just gonna go in here with a little bit. So then she put this lotion on me to like cool me down, which definitely helped. I remember walking out of there like laughing because I couldn't believe the burning sensation. And I was just like, please make it go away. Um, but it did go away. It went away probably like within, I don't know, 20 minutes or something like that, it went away. So I guess maybe like more of the numbing cream could have helped in that situation. But so anyway, this concealer is really nice by the way. It's kind of weird. Everybody says it's like a, Dofa, but look at this applicator. That looks like a freaking hoof, doesn't it? So immediately after I put up a picture of how my skin looked, I looked like I got a wicked sunburn. And then it did go away probably by like the end of the day. And then I woke up and noticed that the darker patches that I had, it was almost like they had a lot of texture on them and it got really dark. So this was over Easter break. I didn't mess with makeup for like, I think you had to wait like a day or something, she said, but I didn't even mess with any makeup for a couple of days. Used um, moisturizer and then I put Aquaphor on some of the spots that were like really bad just to keep some hydration in there. I would say in like five days, my skin was looking so much better. Like it just looked resurfaced and just more even skin tone and looked really good. So I'm using, I love this. This is the Huda Beauty and Cherry Blossom Cake. And I like the mini because my little brush fits perfectly in the little section here. So I'm just gonna set under my under eyes with this. And this is kind of weird. I know some people like the way this smells and some people don't. It has like this signature scent to it. I love it. And I just saw that she actually came out with a perfume that is like the same fragrance. I thought it was a joke at first. I thought that, you know, when I saw it online, it was like a joke and it wasn't real. Like maybe it was like an April Fool's thing, but you can actually buy it. I think I'm gonna buy it. It just smells so good to me, but it is limited edition. I'll put it down below if you're interested. You're wondering what I'm talking about, but all this stuff will be listed down below in the description. I'm just gonna put a little powder in like the T-zone area and a little bit around my nose and my smile lines. Cause I feel like that's the first area it gets greasy and creases. I've been loving, this is the Milani Cheek Kiss in Hey Honey. It's their cream bronzer. I really love their blush. I've used it for years. And when I was at Ulta a few weeks ago, they had no bronzer. And then I randomly, like, you know where they have all the new releases, almost like a little pop-up display, like in another section. Then when I went over to Milani's section, I saw that this one was mixed in with the blushes. So I just got very lucky and I scooped it up and grabbed it because I feel like it's been sold out. So anyway, back to the laser. I'm going to be getting my second treatment done in a few weeks here. So I'll definitely continue to update on that. And I'm not sure, I think I'm just gonna need the two and I'll be good to go because I'm very happy with the results. But depending on like how deep the pigmentation is in your skin, that's how many sessions it'll take or whatever. They also use this laser for tattoo removal. So if you had a tattoo or something, it's that's the same type of laser. So if you've heard of that being painful, <laughs> you know why. It burns, but it's like a good burn, except when you leave and you're like, oh my God, what did I just do to my face? Please stop burning. And then in 20 minutes, it'll go away. So that's the main thing I was so worried about. I was like, when is this burning gonna stop? What did I just do? But I think it's totally worth it. And now that I know what to expect, I won't have so much anxiety next time. So for blush, I am mixing in, this is the Rare Beauty blush that I love. And I've been mixing Hope and Virtue to try to get like a really pretty pink peachy color. So I always do the dot of Hope first, and then I go in and I do the more peachy, the deeper apricot tone second, like right over it. These are so pigmented, it's not even funny. And you guys know I prefer a brush to blend this out rather than using a beauty blender. 
So as far as pricing, I've seen all different types of pricing online. I couldn't really gauge what was like the norm. I think it depends on what you're needing to get done. If you're getting tattoo removal, the place I went to, so I'll put where I went down below in the description and who I saw if you wanna check her out, she's awesome. Um, she also does, when I get Botox done, she does my Botox in my forehead, like in the 11 area too. And she's really great at it. As far as pricing, I've seen all different types of pricing from like $400 up to $1,000. So I think it depends on like where you live. I'm in New Jersey, who you go to, how many sessions you need. Again, I think that where I go offers, if you have like tattoo removal, they offer like a flat rate, like, all right, you're gonna need six sessions and you're gonna pay X amount of dollars. I wanna say for my laser, I paid, was it 400 or was it 600? I have to, let me look, it's not cheap. So something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, but I figured we could talk about it in case anyone else is struggling with the same thing and they were curious about it. All right, I'm gonna set my bronzer down. This is part of my project pan. I love this bronzer. It's the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer, but the pan is huge and I've been trying to use it up for a very long time. It's definitely, I'd say like technically expired, but in all honesty, it's a powder product. It's fine. Another one in my project pan, love this ColourPop Wisp. And I like to just take my two fingers here and pat it on. It is such a pretty highlighter. It works so nicely over the cream blushes. I've even noticed since getting the laser that the texture on my skin has been a lot better. You can see like in the, maybe you can't see, but I can see in this area and over here, I've been having some like texture, some really bad texture issues. And I definitely feel like it has calmed down. So I actually finished a couple products in the project pan probably do an update like at the halfway point through the year. So maybe in the summer, like July, I'll do the update. But I finished the NYX brow pencil, the NYX, the micro brow that's supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia one that I love. I just don't think that it is. I've just come to the conclusion where I keep wanting to love it as much. And it just, for me, maybe I have the wrong color and I've said this before, it's just not the same for me. I feel like the pencil, it's not as creamy, it's not as pigmented, and it's just not the same. But I used to love the CoverGirl. It's so hard to do. I'm using a mirror that's like tiny. I need to buy like a bigger vanity mirror. But I used to love, which I probably still do, I just haven't bought it in a while, the CoverGirl brow pencil. I felt like that shade match was way better, so. Or was it CoverGirl or was it Maybelline? I can't remember, I have to look back into my videos. All right, that's as good as I'm gonna get them with this crappy mirror and I'm starting to sweat with these lights on me. It's getting warmer here in New Jersey. Yesterday it was like 70 and sunny. Today it's supposed to rain, but it's it's been nice. So I feel like these smile lines are really, they're smiling. All right, I'm gonna add a little powder now. And then I'm gonna lock my brows in with the brow glue. I've been liking adding just a touch of highlight over this cream one with the ambient lighting powder. And I just go in with the highlight shade. The Patrick Ta Major Dimensions, this is the two one. So this is more of like the purpley pinky mauve tones that I love. So I added this in my project pan because I feel like I spent a lot of money on it. It's a beautiful palette, but I was never reaching for it. So I've been loving these two shades for like every day. We're gonna go in with this one first. And I've been leaving most of my lid blank. And then just blending it into the crease. It's a really pretty everyday color. I don't think I've bought any eyeshadow palettes in a long time, which is good and I don't plan to, unless I see something that really catches my eye. I just wanna use what I have. When I do the project pan, it helps me focus on getting through makeup and realizing that, hey, like you don't need another concealer, but if I get through something, 
I will go out and treat myself and replace it. But as long as I don't expand past the storage area that I have currently for my makeup, I'm good to go. So, and then I've been taking this lighter shade at the edge here and just carving out my lid with it. If you wanted to, you could take like, which we could do right now. This is the NYX uh, Pro Fix Stick Concealer. This is a really good concealer. I loved using this when I did have more prominent darker spots. I really liked it for that, but you could go ahead and carve out your eyelid and then pack the powder on top of it for more brighter staying power. I'm gonna go back in with that powder over it now. Much easier cut crease. And then I'm also gonna take that same color and just dust it right under my brow here. Just softens it and makes everything blend really nicely together. I'm also gonna sweep a little bit of that first shade under the eye. I'm trying to look up while I do this so you can actually see what I'm doing, but it's really difficult. I need to see what I'm doing and not stab myself in the eye, but I also want you to see what I'm doing. And I've also been taking a flat brush and dipping it into the shade right here and tracing it onto my top lash just to give a little bit of eyeliner. And I go as tight as I can to my top lash. You can see what that does there. It makes a big difference, really makes your eyes pop. So as of late, that's been my go-to look with this palette. I love watching other people's videos to see like how they're using makeup and what kind of combinations they're coming up with for different palettes, because I get bored. I always want to try something new, something sometimes I don't think about it or I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have mixed those two colors together, whatever. I mean, this is a neutral palette. It's pretty simple, but still nice to get ideas. I'm just curling my lashes and I'm sticking with my Project Pan mascaras, which some of them aren't my favorite, but I just want to get through them. So the formula on this is great. This is the telescopic lift. I added it to my Project Pan because I felt like I've only used it a few times and I wanted to use it. It's a good mascara. Unfortunately, the way the bristles are and the wand just deterred me from wanting to use it a lot. It's not that I don't like the formula. It's a great mascara. I would just constantly be stabbing myself in the eye and I still am, but I'm determined to get through it. And also I felt like every time I would use it, I would miss and I would get mascara on my eyelid and it was really frustrating. So I'm trying not to do that right now but I'm just not a fan. I've never been able to get on board with the wand. And I thought, okay, maybe the more I use it, the more I'll get used to it and I'll like it, but it just hasn't been the case. It's been like a month now. So after I finish it, unfortunately, because of how the wand is, I wouldn't repurchase it. However, I love the original L'Oreal Telescopic, such a good mascara. It's one of my absolute favorite, like topper mascaras or layering mascaras, and I've done a bunch of videos on like my favorite mascaras and pretty much all drugstore. And that one is still, I would say like in my top five mascaras of all time. So for the bottom lashes, I've been using the e.l.f. Lash and Roll part of my project pan. This is a good mascara for the lower lashes or at least for my lower lashes. I find that it works good. I have a hard time with mascaras and my lower lashes because if there's too much product on them or if like you have a type of bristle that holds too much product, Mine get like really clumpy or it makes them look too spider-like. So I like this because it doesn't have a ton of product on the wand and the bristles are like really tight and small. So for lips, I'm gonna do a combo that's also my project pan. This is a ColourPop lip liner. Unfortunately, I don't even know that they sell it anymore because I think it was part of like a limited edition. It's called So Happy, but it is pretty much identical to the best friend, I think, it, or like BFF lip liner that they have. And I will definitely like link to it down below, but it's a really nice brown nude shade. And I always slightly overline, especially my top lip. then going in with the Tarte. This is the Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Primrose, a really pretty pink nude. 
perfect for every day. I ended up getting a bunch of those lip plumps over Christmas because of the gift sets. They get me every year. So I had way too many. I think I got like 10 in total. So I've been trying to keep one in my purse at all times and use them all the time. I haven't tried the dupe for it yet. I guess e.l.f. makes one, but I have not tried that. So I'm using the Marshmallow Setting Spray. I got through the Make It Last, the Milani Make It Last, which is what was in my project pan. So I have added this one in now. This smells really good. Way too much came on now and I gotta really fan this sucker out. Well, that is it for my updated everyday makeup routine, my go-to. Everything again will be down in the description below and I will keep you updated on my next laser session for my face so I can show you like the whole before and after and we can go through everything. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you out and answer any questions you have and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.